Hi, Sue here, the tenacious bitch. Okay, I'm an artist. I can't say by trade because uh, I never really did sell my stuff. You had to know me to get it. Um, I supported myself by being an art teacher because that's what I always wanted to do is to be a teacher. So you do see a sample of my work behind me. And you know, I'm particularly good at paint, drawing and painting and things like that. But just because you are good at some mediums doesn't mean everything is going to be your medium. And by that I mean, automotively. However, with um, patience and persistence, tenaciousness, you can learn to pretty much do everything. And you gotta learn how to be careful, take your time, and uh, you know, get some education. Watch YouTube videos, that's what I'm doing. Um, the only reason why I make, make my own is so that you know that, hey, even little old ladies can do their own automotive work, so if they so desire. So, first thing you gotta do is gather up your tools. Now, I have done some graphics on this before, and, that's, and this is what I'm doing this time. So, the nose was painted on this car, and I bought these graphics, and they are original equipment uh, from the manufacturer, graphics. And you can see them on the, on the nose there. I did those. I did this one too, because that nose was painted. However, this stripe right here is original. To 1987, and you can see that's lasted pretty well. But this stuff up here is probably not uh, from Japan. It, it just didn't last as well. Um, maybe it's because it's uh, more directly on the top and things like that. But uh, yeah, you know, they loved that, that uh, stick on pinstriping in the 80s. And you know what? This is an 80s car and it's gonna have more. So I did uh, this fender. This fender had been uh, repaired a long time ago and the color had faded to orange. And it just didn't match the original paint anymore. And so, and then the door was clear coated so that it would blend in with the fender. And then you can see, this is where the new stuff ends and the old stuff begins. And, and I can take that off with my fingernail, but who wants to wreck a manicure? Anyways, so I'm gonna do the short side of this car so that I, you know, cause I don't wanna be short sighted about how this is gonna go because the other side, yeah, the other side, that all needs to come off all the way down the side and you can see that this car is like oh look at that dent well, hey maybe that scratch and dent place can pop that out we'll see but i gotta replace all of that but first i gotta get it off so gather your tools now that's a hair dryer i like that little nozzle there because i think i can put that right on the stripe you gotta be careful I know this is old paint. It's lacquer-based paint. It was This car was manufactured in Japan. Uh, they did not have to adhere, adhere to the same OSHA standards the United States did. So the paint really lasts well. Um, this car spent its whole life in the desert of Texas. It is 32 years old, and uh, the paint has held up rather well. Of course, it has, has had to be compounded and buffed and, you know, things like that. Be detailed over time. you got to take care of your cars. You can want them to last. And then I found this grout tool, and you're saying, what? She's going to use that metal on the car. No, 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 I'm going to use this little plastic wedge. Because somebody suggested use a credit card. Well, I don't want to put a cramp in my spending style if I wreck my credit card. So we're going to use this, and I'm going to be very careful not to scratch the paint. And you're going to need an extension cord. So I have applied graphics before, but I've never taken graphics off. So we'll see how it goes. So just remember. I am just putting videos out there to show you that, uh, hey, if this tenacious bitch can do it, if I can do it, you can do it too. And don't be, don't be a little scaredy cat and be afraid to try things. I wouldn't try it on, on, your, on your father's brand new Cadillac. <laughs> but uh, this is my car and I take full responsibility for it. So I'll show you what the results look like in a little bit, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, and this is very important. To stay hydrated. To keep your youthful glow going on as long as possible. That's an important tool to add. Oh, here you are. You can see me. I got my little trusty tool. Now what I did was I had it very close to the paint and, and I had it very close to my hand and I could feel how hot that was. 
while I was doing this. And you can see that although the tape is gone, there's a lot of residue left. It's kind of hard to see in the bright sunshine. But uh, yeah, I gotta get that off. I'm gonna try some Goo Gone or um, maybe WD-40 or something like that. And then what I gotta do is wash that spot and make sure there's no oily residue left when I apply the graphics. Um, but I did get it off without scratching the paint, so that's a good thing. So I'm doing a little bit of learning as you go. I probably spent less than five minutes doing this. So uh, it's not really too difficult. So, but uh, you know, acquaint yourself with other people's videos. Watch out, I saw somebody take some graphics off a really old police car. And uh, if they can do it, I can do it too. So until next time, Sue here, Sue here. Well, I got most of it off, but it didn't all come off. And it's very old uh, plastic pinstriping. So I got out some rubbing alcohol and a bag of cotton balls. So I used one, uh, one doused with alcohol, rubbing alcohol and one uh, dry one. Now, this is uh, lacquer based ink that's on this car. And um, the, the glue is sensitive to the alcohol, but the paint is not. Now, my cotton balls did come out a little bit red, but that's because the paint is oxidized and that means there's a certain amount of like red dust embedded on it. So basically, this is like cleaning off that red dust. It's not really affecting the paint. Um, I did watch some YouTube videos and they suggested taking a razor blade. What? <laughs> a razor blade? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, I, I used my fingernails a little bit and I did uh, use the touch of an, a razor blade to scratch it a little bit. But that, but yeah, that was, you know, you gotta have a lot of balls, I think, to, to use a razor blade on your paint and stuff like that. So the alcohol really cleans the surface really well. So it's not like using WD-40 or Gooby Gone or something like that. That really doesn't work well. Now you have an oily residue on your car and guess what? Your graphics aren't gonna stick. So this rubbing alcohol is gonna be very, very, very clean. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. See a tiny bit. I got the, yeah, my, where my fingernail polish off with all this work. Yeah, so I'm doing this work before I do a manicure later today. But you look at this, and most of it's gone. And this is the pinstriping I'm going to use. The thin line goes on the top, thick line goes on the bottom. You can see, uh, it's about an eighth of an inch. I don't know what that is. Um, well, just something stuck on that one. Anyways, I'm going to start here. It goes right on the curve. All the way to the back here and it stops at about there so uh i'm gonna do that and i'll let you know how it comes out so oh yes and don't forget to do this hydrate that's how you keep your skin moisturized from within until next time see you later so sue here you can see i got the tape stuck on you can see that the clear coat, the clear plastic thing is still on the top. And you can see me. And, and here's my tool that I'm using. And I'm going to show you the end of this. See how it's a little rounded? I'm going to use that to burn. It's being careful not to touch the paint. And I use a very sharp pair of scissors to cut it off just the right distance from the end. And in case you're wondering, how did you know where to cut it off? Well, that's another reason why you don't get too overzealous and take everything off leaving stuff on to see oh yeah the other side tells you what to do okay so i'm gonna burnish that on and uh i'll get back to you when i when i start to peel off that clear plastic yes and don't forget you gotta hydrate So here, tenacious bitch. So this is what she learned. So I'm doing this in Florida, in case the palm trees weren't the dead giveaway. I don't need any burnishing tools. It's so hot. This stuff is immediately sticking on and just touching it with my fingers. And I almost screwed it up. I almost screwed it up a couple of places where it bubbled up a little bit, and I was able to settle it down. And here, you can see this just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not doing that over. Hey, you know, everything's live and learn. Got a little cotton stuck in there and stuff like that, like that. But all in all, I'm pretty satisfied. You know, this is this is my first rodeo with this, other than you know this stuff. But this is my first cow that I've ever done uh, 
Well, no, I did. I put some door guard stuff in my 1975 Chevy Nova, but that's a story for another day. Um, I was pleased with how that came out. But uh, so, yeah, this is very warm out. So if it was cool, if, it, if the temperatures were cool, you'd have to burnish it on. But it's not. It's warm. Maybe I should be doing this in the shade, but I can see better what I'm doing in the bright sunshine. So this is a 1987. MR2 and I am trying to keep it original as possible like I didn't want to paint the whole car I painted what had to be done like the rocker panel was so scratched up from from feet Going over so I painted that and you know and I want the graphics to look good But see on this side. Okay, so they're a little worn, but you know what it, they, it is original So I'm, I'm not gonna be in a hurry. You don't have to do everything in the same day And I'll uh, live with this for a while. Maybe maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't we'll see but uh, all in all, um, you know, I'm not perfect. I don't pretend to be, don't profess to be, and, uh, but I'm happy with it. And this is what she looks like. That's what she looks like. Gosh, she's beautiful in the car. Hey, Chi. So remember, if this tenacious bitch can do it, then you can do it.